Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Uh, we are back with another video. Um, as you can see, it is just me again. Fiorella is back home in Bolivia right now, so obviously she cannot be here helping in the bus, so um, we miss her, but we're going to still get some work done without her um, because the show must go on. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to learn from my mistakes last time and not do too much talking because I did too much talking and not enough doing and This time I'm just gonna pretty much say on um, the agenda today is to take off the wooden parts of these walls on the sides here um, We were initially just gonna build off of them and leave the original wood that was there uh, because we were a little intimidated about taking off the window because um the frame of the window actually is screwed into the wood, which is screwed into the bones of the bus. So in order to take the wood out, you have to take the frames out. And we were just a little bit scared about that, but somebody reached out to us um, on Instagram and kind of gave some tips and asked us about it. And so we are gonna give it a shot. So I'm going to do that today. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get both sides done. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna to take to do the windows. I kind of already have this front one done because we kind of um, were testing it out to see if it would be doable or not, and we're gonna go for it, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully I get both sides done. Um, if not today, they will get done this week, so it'll all be in the same video, and uh, let's get it. All right, so a little update. This is what it looks like before, and this is what we got going on now. As you can see, clearly the wood is off. The back side here of the window frames is off, and they're right there. And I'm gonna screw them back on now because I'm terrified of the windows falling out and exploding on the ground. But essentially we got, once you take the wood off, then you have this lovely styrofoam that is, Ford was kind enough to put in there for us. And uh, take it out of these little panels and we're gonna replace that with fiberglass insulation. And um, we're gonna board it back up but this is just a little update of what we're going on right now. These are the screws that are keeping me very sane. I'm not losing my mind at all doing this by hand. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm doing it by hand, because I'm sure somebody was gonna come and want to use the power drill. Well, the power drill is not really gripping these little screws and they're very, very old and you kind of need to like put a lot of force into the actual screw. Um, so when I'm using the power drill, it kind of was just stripping them essentially. So that's what we got so far. We got one side done. It took forever. It's about 4.45 right now, and I got here probably at around see both sides here are done. I'm 
mind all this stuff. That's just all the stuff that came off the wall. So essentially, we just got these gaps now between the wall and where like where the styrofoam was. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a piece and I'm gonna break a piece off and take it to Home Depot with me. And I'm just gonna get Alright, here we are in Home Depot's parking lot. Uh, got my little star for me. Handy dandy list on the back of a Chipotle receipt because we reduced reuse and recycle here. And I have the car, so this could be interesting because I don't know if the installation is going to fit. Didn't want to take the bus because I'm running a little behind, so time is of the essence. So, uh, yeah, this could get weird. I might have to break some insulation to squeeze it in, but we'll see. All right, trying this again because I just talked for a minute and wasn't even recording. So, um, I'm here, I got the insulation in. Um, luckily, it's able to break in half because of these slits that come in the insulation already, which I'm sure you know because we talked about it in one of our previous videos that I know you watched. But, uh, yeah, so basically our styrofoam that was in the bus was 7 eighths of an inch and Home Depot only carried 3 quarters of an inch or 1 inch insulation. So uh, I spent a lot of time in there pretty much just contemplating which one to get. Um, <laughs> but I decided to go up to 1 inch rather than down to 3 quarters of an inch just because I, th I feel like I'd rather be airtight and I think that once we screw the wood in, um, it should be fine, and also, it should be fine either way. Um, but because of that, I only bought one board instead of the two boards that we needed, because if it is going to not work, which it is going to work, but just in the off chance that it wouldn't, I would rather just, um, you know, screw up with one board than buying two boards, breaking them both to get them in the car, and then not being able to return them because they're broken. So got one board and I'm gonna head home back to the bus right now to see if it works so fits I got two pieces in right here as you can see there's definitely a little gap but that is because like I said I had to break it in half making it two pieces of two foot long two foot wide insulation and it is about 25 and a half inches from bottom to top so there's a little inch and a half here that I will fill in with some scraps that I have at the end. And uh, yeah, good news is it fits. It's nice and tight. So I'm definitely glad that I went with the one inch. About to put the wood on the wall. Boom. As you can see, it's looking like a battlefield in here. I do apologize to all of you. And to Fiorella, please do not kick my ass. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to make this as easy as possible. As you can see, we got the new wood down there. These are the old panels, that's why it looks so crappy in here, is because I kept all the old pieces so that I could just put it on the new wood and trace the exact shape and then I'm just going to transfer it right to where it was and it should work 